So I told everybody that we'll write these vowels myself and won't copy any movie lines. So you have me at well. Of all the moments I thought about for our wedding, this is the one I thought about the most. Every time I tried to put pen to paper, all I could think was, how did we get so lucky? You have a kindness towards everybody to make me feel safe and that everything will be okay. Whether it's when I had ex experienced vertigo for two weeks over the summer, that you were there the whole time to make sure I was okay, except for when you saw Taylor Swift was playing in town. You have shown me unparalleled selflessness, reliability, and love. Without hesitation, you always take on the dirty jobs. But most importantly, I know, no matter what, you are on my team and that we will always partner together. And while I love our life right now, just how it is, I can't help but feel excited and hopeful for what's next. I can't wait to start this next adventure with you. You always ask me after special weekends if I love you more, less, or the same. And I always get under your skin when I say the same, just because, you know, I love to tease the ones I love the most. But the answer is truly always more. I love you and look forward to the rest of our lives together. This reality we live in is so much better than any of my dreams. Thank you for being the love of my life. With you by my side, I know every day will be a day worth cherishing and a day we get to ask, how did we get so lucky? I love you. So let me tell you how we got to know Caroline. Brett wanted to fly up he gives us a call and says, can I bring a girl with me? So we have to make a 200 mile drive. And Brett, it's obvious that he wants us to really get to know Caroline. Because as soon as he gets in the car, puts in his earbuds, and tries to sleep. So for the next three and a half hours, it's Caroline with the two of us. <laughs> but obviously, Brett's plan worked because Caroline, we love you. And Mike and Mary, I hope that you two feel the same way about Brett because he's really a good guy. <laughs> Here we go. So, Brett became one of my best buds really quick. It was nice to have another punk pop emo music fan in the mix. If you need something big or small, Brett is the guy there. Small being something like, I'm bored and I need a beer. But he also is there for the big things. If you have someone in the hospital and you need somebody to come over on short notice, Brett's the first guy I call. Caroline, because of you, he's now a man of style. Out with the cargo shorts and with the well-fitting shirts. more than what we could have imagined for our friend Brett. When I met her, we bonded a lot. We were both consultants at the time. We were both big Swifties. Except after I talked to her for about a minute and a half, I realized I wasn't quite as big a Swifty as I thought I was. Caroline's heart is even bigger than her smile. She is fiercely loyal, she's dependable, and she's so fun to be around. Uh, I look forward to many years of celebrating your love at every Tom Cruise movie premiere. Sent, sent Ani, 100 years of love and happiness. One of the big reasons you guys work so well as a couple, because you both care so much about your community, your friends, and each other. And so let's have a toast to Brett and Caroline. May you have a long and happy life together.
you know, I know it was a, a little bit after my birthday, but it just means a lot that you could be here. We did have a little bit of news to share, which is that we did get engaged this morning. Yeah. I think we can all agree, Caroline and Brett are people you want to have in your corner. They understand that their joy is magnified in the joy of others. <laughs> you look stunning and beyond words. I never knew anything could look so beautiful. It was a transformative trip to Half Moon Bay in July of 2020 that became a turning point in your guys' relationship where you realized the depth of your feelings for one another. Your shared values of joy, loyalty, family, generosity, and caring for others formed the threads that wove your love story together. And now, the rest is history. It's been said that a good marriage is one where each partner secretly suspects they got the better deal. I know that's true in my case. Caroline, just know how much your mother, your family, and I love you. And we are so happy that you found your perfect partner, Brett. Yes, you had us with hello. <laughs> You know, a father's pretty protective, but we liked you from the very first moment we met. Your caring nature, your willingness to go with the flow, your easy smile, and smooth temperament are a perfect fit for Caroline. When I heard these like stories of how Brett came through for his friends, it really was a weight lifted off of my shoulders, knowing that Caroline was in good hands. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now see your vows with a kiss. Man, Brett is married. Aren't we all happy that Brett did himself by completing what I foresaw as Mission Impossible. <laughs> By locking down the absolutely stunning Caroline Vincent. I look forward to knowing Brett more, building more memories with you as husband and wife. Cheers to a life full of happiness and love. I love you guys so much. Brett, we welcome you to our family with all our hearts. Finally, at last, if everyone would raise their glass and toast this wonderful, beautiful couple. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my first time to present to you, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. Yeah!